welcome everyone to a new game for streaming. Uh, to today I've updated, I've uploaded a couple of videos of this on the channel. I have two more to upload soon. Um, but yeah, I've beat the story on this game just a little bit ago, and I'm actually, I actually really enjoy it. So I mean, I'm like, hey, I don't really feel like doing many matches, but I also kind of want to stream. So yeah, we'll do this. Um, that song was uh. This one, oh my, Oop, up, booty, dup, beep, boop, bup. this one is Tough by Kamiku. A, I was looking for, um, just some free music for the beginning of this and shit, and I found Kamiku, who all their stuff is free, and don't need like, anything, but they're, I actually really enjoy their music. It's very neat, and I enjoy it. They were also the ones that did the music in the last year's stream, so... Yeah, you should check them out. They're pretty darn cool. A lot of techno. Uh, each album is very different from the last. Um, the other two were from a different album than this one. And I think you might be able to tell it's very different. But anyways, uh, so yeah. Welcome to this. Gonna real quick do the usual test of audio. My apologies for the overlay. Each album is very different from the last. Um, the other two were from a different album. Alright, sounds good enough. I wasn't really paying attention, but I'm just gonna assume it's fine. I tested it earlier. This is all basically make sure nothing like it's floating. So, um, one of the uh, big reasons I was kind of hesitant to play this was because, first of all, I'm not very good. Uh, second of all, not a lot of people are playing a lot of times, so it does sometimes take a while to actually connect to people, meaning I have to entertain all you peeps with no material. But, you know, that's fine. Music, uh, in this, I think there's only like two songs, but I love them. They're amazing. Uh, so for those of you who don't know, uh, while it's loading, I can tell you what the game is. It's, um, basically an easier version of an RTS. RTS stands for real-time strategy. Those are games like Warcraft, Starcraft, uh, is Build and Conquer. Basically, you have buildings that give you income. You want to place buildings that give you soldiers, and you want to attack the other person who's doing the same thing. You want to kill them before they kill you. Uh, and normally, it, in um, RTS games, you're just kind of overviewing the whole thing. You can control, move around the map, do whatever. Um, but in this, you have a commander, which is where you rally all your troops. So unlike other ones where you can have fight three different fronts, here you only really have one army who's at one location. So it is much easier because everyone's near you, you can see everything, you are your own character. And, um, it's pretty neat. Uh, I probably didn't explain it very well, but yeah. The entire basis of the lore of this game is that all these animals are fighting each other in different factions, uh, because everyone's starving to death, and, uh, they want to eat each other. So yeah. Alright, we got in. Oh, you want to be both? Yeah, alright, I'll be... I'll be quartermaster. Okay. Alright, so I'm just gonna go with a, um... Yeah, I'm just gonna go with my basic rush deck here. I'm gonna put that down a little bit. It should be the same volume no matter what you guys. And, uh, this is a play on the Russian Revolution, I believe. So, yeah. It's got some nice history in it. Although, in the Russian Revolution, I don't think there's a lot of cannibalism. Alright, so first we gotta run and find our enemy. Here he is. Good. Found him before he found me. And farms are how you gain income in this game. But the farms uh, will lose production eventually and just gotta go out. So you want to constantly be spreading, getting new mills, and spreading, getting your army, and keep building farms. I'm actually gonna get a little bit of army going. The deck I'm currently using um, with my group is a rushing deck, so I want to get a bunch of these little lizard dudes really fast and try to destroy some of his farms quick, and then that will hurt his economy in the long run a lot, and I'll get ahead. Um, so yeah, buildings will automatically train soldiers, and yeah. I think six might be enough, but I might want nine. I'm not very, I will state this, I'm not very good at this game compared to, um, Mini Masters, which I'm also not very good at. Yeah, dude, I'm just gonna kill you. Yep. Alright, so that was his leader there. So you can kill the leaders and they respawn after a little bit. 
And if you kill lasers, it'll delay him a bit in doing stuff. So, I mean, it's good. It'll just send him back to your place. You can dig and go back to one of your mills. and um, But if you get shot, it delays that. Alright, let's go. He keeps investigating me. I don't even think they've been building an army at all. Oh, he has. Let's just destroy those real quick. Boom. Yep. So he also is using lizards. Uh, normally people will tend to use squirrels. That's actually a more common one. Uh, these, there's, there's three tiers of units. There's tier one, tier two, and tier three. Uh, my lizards and these moles are tier one. Uh, the trench gang and the tooth collectors are tier two. The badger is tier three. Um, and so there's a huge increase in strength between each one. Um, tier one trains three units for building. Tier two, two units, and tier three, one unit. Um, tier three units are um, definitely very powerful, and um. Tier 1s are pretty weak, but if you get a bunch of them, they can also be pretty powerful. Alright, we have about the same army here, actually. I think mine's gonna win somehow. Actually, nope, it's gonna be basically... Yep, that is 100%. Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother going up on them. Because with three of me, that might just make us lose. Um, so, yeah, these guys... Um, there's these guys and squirrels are basically your main little dudes. There's other ones too, but those are, these are your like most common ones you'll see. Um, so the, these guys, unlike squirrels, squirrels are basically the same thing, but they're a lot slower and have a bit more defense, but lower attack. Um, and you might think, oh, well, they have lower attack and lower speed, so it would be worse. But, oh geez, he's got frogs. Jesus, this isn't good. Alright, we got quite an army here. Gotta get some lizards. He's got some frogs too, which just explode and do a lot of AoE damage. Alright, so you destroyed three of my farms, that sucks. But I do have the um, trench gang coming up. So it's not too bad. So I can rebuild the farms, but as you can see, uh, they already used up some of the stuff. Alright, chase him away. And, uh, so yeah, the reason that you might not want nomads is they're faster, that means that they'll get away from your other units, like my chameleon there. They'll get away from them faster, meaning that you're not like a united group, which kind of sucks. But they are good for rushing. Alright, he doesn't know I've got lizards. He's got healers, that's fine. He's got a lot of tier 1s. I'm kind of surprised that he has like nothing higher. Alright, I send it off that attack. I would like to go in the offensive, but I do not have enough resources. Alright, just get him. One man to our main farm's barren. Oh, jeez. That's not good. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna win this one. I don't feel very confident. We're pretty low on, like, everything. Let's go investigate. Yeah, our farm's going barren. So we're, we have very low income. And yeah, no, we lost, definitely. There's no way that we're going to be able to come back from that. I might be able to get my chameleons over and sneak around him, but... Nah, he's got such a huge advantage right now. The chameleon is pretty powerful, but yeah, no, we're dead. GG. As definite death, there's no way that we're going... Yeah, we're starving. Oh yeah, if you have no farms, you'll start starving, and if that count go down goes down, then you lose. Yep. That sucks. Uh, like I said, I am not very good at this game at all. I don't even know why he's going through this, he's not just trying to kill me, but whatever. Oh, I'm just gonna do this to make him think I have units. I'll, I'll, I'm so sorry. Just, just kill me. I don't know why he didn't kill us yet. Whatever. Here, I'll do, um... I'm gonna do a match against the AI to show you what all the units do. Not show you, but tell you. Because in online, when I set up my army, I have a time limit. Alright. Yeah, that did not go very well. 
Alright. Just, yeah, I was doing really bad and stupid there. Let's get into offline. Uh, just 1v1. Bellified, my dude. And Archimedes. Actually, hold on, we'll see. Hard. Uh, sure, hop or whatever. Um, alright. So let's go over all the units. Um, so, Distillery Brothers, uh, they are the squirrels I'm talking about. Uh, there's your basic unit. They're same speed as everyone else, have the average range and pretty weak damage. Uh, there's basic. Uh, these guys do better attack, have a bit less defense, I think. Oh no, they have the same defense, but only two range. Okay. So, they have half the range of the squirrels, meaning that they have to get a lot closer to even see anything. Um, and, but they are a lot faster and do more damage. Um, the frogs are just, they just explode into a bunch of area effect, but sadly they explode, meaning that's 20, um, food down the drain every time you use one. Uh, volunteers are your healers, they're flying, they're awesome, they can keep, you definitely need at least, like, six to keep people actually, like, alive, and people start shooting the volunteers, and they'll go down pretty fast. Um, and molds, which are pretty neat, uh, as the engineer's wire. Um, unlike our sales, you don't place a building that starts generating them. You place them anywhere on the map, whether it's in your territory or not, and it will just summon them there after, like, 10 seconds. And so you can do, like, a sneak attack and just place five molds next to the place without noticing, and then go and, and do a bunch of damage. They also do, um, three times damage to buildings, which is nice. Um, tier 2, uh, we have the Freight Union. These guys are just mortar units, so they have really good range. Uh, not as far in vision, meaning that they can shoot further than they can see. So you kind of have to go ahead and scout the area in order for them to hit as far as possible. But they're very good for taking out defense buildings and stuff. Um, like a turret or something, because the turret can't hit them. Um, Wing Demons are pretty good flying attack. Um, they don't have a lot of health overall. I know, I know it says that they have 17 defense, but that's really not a lot compared to, um, yeah, these guys are 25, these guys are 38. It's very, yeah, so they can die pretty fast, but they actually do a lot of damage, and they are flying, so any melee units can't hurt them, like the moles or, um, trench gang. Or, uh, mortars. Yeah, mortars can't hit my mortars can only hit the ground. Um, Glorious AFB can also only hit ground, uh, so they're just kind of poison units. They shoot a little area of effect of smoke gas. They can't hurt buildings, um, but yeah, they just throw little poison grenades that will deteriorate the army. So if they have a bunch of little dudes, these guys can probably clear them out fast. Uh, Trench Gang, they have decent attack. I think they have the highest cells of all the tier 2 units, and uh, they're invisible when they're not attacking. So you can, if an enemy sees it, it's like, oh, you don't have any units, but it turns out you have six, six Trench Gang, you can easily lure them into a trap. But if they know that you have Trench Gang, they probably don't assume that you have uh, them. But they are good for like a first surprise thing. And also for sneaking past the enemy. And Tooth Collectors are the second highest health of the Tier 2. Um, right? Yeah. Um, so they're also uh, poison. You don't like the AFB, except they can only hit one target. And they can hit flying. And their poison stacks. So if they hit you once, you'll have one poison. Two, you'll have two poison. And the more poison you have, the more damage you'll take over time. Poison does go away pretty fast, but they keep hitting you. Even even buildings get poisoned, and they're anti-flying, which is very good. Uh, I think they're one of the better units overall. Uh, of all these, I like all these. I'm not a fan of the Glorious AFB. I just don't really use them very well, because they don't do a ton of damage. They don't have a ton of health. Oh, you have 32 health, actually? Oh. They actually have a decent amount of health. Never mind. Um, and tier 3, these are your super tough dudes, you probably only don't have one of these if you get to them, maybe two, and if you get three, you're probably about to win. Um, Uncle Butters, he has a giant flamethrower, which does AoE damage, um, he does decent damage, and when he dies, he explodes into a bunch of fire that only hits your enemies. He has a ton of health, which is really good, and yeah, he's just awesome. You have, um, inmate 438, he's a badger with a machine gun. Um, so his gun, it... You know, it starts slow, but it goes faster and faster and faster and does a lot more damage after the, after there's a bunch of people that are shooting. It doesn't have nearly as much health as Uncle Butter's, um, almost half. 
But um, the great thing about him is that he can attack while he's moving. So if you just march him down and there's a bunch of little dudes, he'll start getting faster and faster and just killing everyone like half a second. So he is very good for um, charging in. Um, Matriarch is a spawner. Um, it's a flying unit with somewhat decent health um, for flying. And she just spawns a bunch of little, these little dudes. And they will go where she goes, and they, I guess they just, yeah, they kind of sucks, they're worse than squirrels, they're a melee unit, and they don't actually follow your orders, they go wherever she goes, but if there's an enemy near, they'll just charge right at him. But they are pretty decent, because he can spawn really fast. Uh, Volkov is a buffer, he will buff all the units around him to do three times attack strength, he also buffs the pig farmers to go twice as fast really nice, but the farms will go fallow faster. And Kasha is a sniper who's really good for taking down big dudes, and basically, she's meant to take down second tier and third tier units. First tier is just kind of a waste, because it shoots pretty slow, but can kill most people in one hit. Tier 3, she can kill the badger pretty fast, so she's pretty nice. I don't really like to use her just because she doesn't have much health, and she's only really good for stopping other people's things. I prefer things like the Badger or uh, Uncle Butter that can do damage to buildings. She also can't hit buildings. Oh yeah, and Volkov doesn't attack, and neither does Matriarch. Um, and then we have defenses. Um, feather wire is just like barbed wire. You just place it there. If um, their ground units go through it, they'll take damage, and they'll slow them down a lot. They can destroy it just by walking through it, but yeah. Uh, mines, you can just place these wherever in your territory, if an enemy steps on it, then it'll explode. Uh, these both cost 20, this costs 60, this costs 120, and this costs 180. Um, so 60 costs bullet hides, it's just a turret, doesn't have a ton of health, doesn't do a ton of damage, but yeah. Um, thermal air sniper, this is just a flying sniper, it's kind of like Kasha. Actually, I think it's a lot like Kasha. Oh, no, it's actually better than Kasha. So, um, it has a range of 6 and vision 12, um, with decent damage counter. Actually, it does do a lot less damage than Kasha. But this is good for, um, because you can see 12, which is really far, and it can shoot pretty far, which is nice. So it can take down a lot of people, um, if you have stuff surrounding it, so they can't get to it really soon. And the drum fire can is the most expensive one, 180, uh, is range 10, vision 4, which, um, oh man, they must have changed this really recently, because, like, a week ago, this was range 8, vision 8. Yeah, they changed that really recently. Wow. Um, I thought there was another one that was changed, but I thought I was just maybe stupid, but I know for a fact this was 8-8. Eight, eight. Uh, but anyways, um, so yeah, this has further range than the, um, air sniper, but only 4 vision, meaning that you kind of have to spot out stuff, or just your buildings and stuff have to spot out. It does a ton of damage to ground units, doesn't hit flying units, but yeah. So... Let's get right into it. Um, I have a couple different types of decks I like to use. You can only have six things. Um, the one I tried to use before was a rush deck, but I'm not very good at rushing. Um, I'm going to try my healing deck. I, I also did some soups for my rush deck. I wasn't supposed to have these guys in it. This is for my healing deck. So with this, I just have a bunch of tough dudes with a lot of health. And what else do I have? I think I had you. Okay, who else do I have in this deck? I'll stick moles. Alright, so for this. Oh, wait, I'm a, who I was supposed to have. Oh, jeez, I don't have any other, like, attacking tier one, you know, besides moles, which is not what you want. Alright, yeah, so I, I did stupid here, because you, you need a tier one unit that can attack, like squirrels or lizards, or even the frogs. So yeah, this is a bad deck I'm using, but it's a bot, so it should be easy enough. Ooh, is it bot? Not... This is a really good place to be, though. Alright, where is he at? I'm assuming he's over here. No. Unless he's up here. Nope, alright, he must be in the top left corner. Alright, let me look at this place, uh, Trench Gang. Now, 
Alright, this is a decent position actually, because we're surrounded by water. Alright, so I'm assuming he's up here. I think he has to be. Yep. Alright, so he's... Yeah, bots are not that smart. He just placed a mole right next to his place. But yeah, let's just get some, uh... Chameleons. And actually, let's see if we can uh, do some sneakies. go and try to uh, mole their base. Two moles, I don't think can actually kill it, but uh, I don't care. This, it's a bot, they're not that smart. He might just let me do it. Nope, kills. Nice. Alright, sure, spike their moles. Yeah, I'll, yeah, this guy's just placing all the moles by himself. Moles are only good for Utilizing the fact that they can be placed wherever. That is their only real purpose. Oh no, I don't have an army. Whatever will I do? Oh, he's not even attacking. Alright. Yeah, he sets hard. Brutal is the hardest one, I think. That G is pretty difficult. But, um... Anything below that's just really easy. I have died once because I used a horrible deck. Um, it was messing around the entire time, but... Alright, we probably won't get this mill, because nothing really, no reason not to. Alright, kill the malls. We fall back a little bit, so we can get the farmer's help. Alright, so that's the snake. You can see that little skull. That means that they're poisoned. That's pretty decent. Hmm, he's hacking. So I do think the snake is probably one of the better units, just overall. Let's keep investigating, make sure they're not doing anything. Yeah, they're not even spreading. Yeah, I probably should send to the next difficulty, because hard is really just way too easy. I'm probably just going to go and kill him soon, because this is really easy right now. He doesn't have much. I don't have a ton either, but I think I have enough to counter him. Yeah, let's do it. Yep, he's just getting more moles. Let me get some moles. Up to the birds there, they just toss little healing packets. Yep, need my snakes to take these out because those guys are melee. Let's just kill everything. Oh, sadly, the heroes are just healing the flying. I mean, I and the snakes aren't really getting damaged a lot, but. Yep, and I think this is the only farm, so it should kill him. And it's only mill. Oh, it wasn't. Where else is he? Oh. He's got a mill. Ooh, he's actually got a lot of stuff here. I underestimated him. But he's still gonna die, so I mean. Was it really underestimating? He's a whole lot of moles. That's just. Yeah, no, nah, he's still dead. Alright, I'm about to get a whole lot of moles. Let's just kill us to make sure they don't get any more. Moles, attack! Jeez, that's a lot. Alright, yeah, let's just kill their base. Moles do a ton of damage, base. Yep. Yeah, the bots, man, they're just not that smart. Alright, so let's go back. Let's go back to rank and play. I am the lowest ranked person here, so that's nice. But I still feel confident in my abilities of not knowing how to play. See, so yeah, I shouldn't have moles in that deck. If I was facing anyone besides that uh, bot, I would definitely be dead. Because you, you need a tier 1 unit that's either squirrels, frogs, or lizards. Or else you're just going to get killed. Because you really can't skip the first tier phase of the battle. 
all skills come and kill you while you regain your second tier dudes. Because second tier is good and all, but if you have one of them and they have nine tier ones, then you're just dead. So I think I'm going to. I'm going to try my rush deck again. Because I was technically using the wrong units. So yeah. I forget. I know I had the wing demons. I forget who else I had. It might have been the mortar units. Yeah, I think it was them. And I'll try to send them. So hopefully we activate connect someone. Yes, I mean. My rank is going down rapidly. This is only the second tier. So this really isn't isn't going too well. I, I'm definitely mini masters I'm not great at, but man, I, I'm just bad at this one. Come on, it was the it was the battle. I'm assuming the one dude left and the other two are fighting each other. Even then they're such a rank to me if I face any of them I was gonna die. Oh, we're going. Very right, nice. I I don't understand why this game has not many people playing it though. Because it did for a little bit, but then the trend really just went down rapidly. Because I think it's an awesome game. I think the main thing is that um, Minion Masters is I think an easier game to get a hold of maybe. But even that, it's just a real easy game for an RTS, but. I, I will say, though, this game is much more difficult than Mini Masters for me, anyways, because um, this game is very much encourages you to be very aggressive, and I'm an extremely defensive player, which is why I lose a lot in other RTS games, because even other RTS games like StarCraft stuff doesn't force you to be aggressive, but you, if you're too defensive, you'll lose, and that's why I, I can't. I love RTS games with all my heart, but I suck at them. Because I just love building walls and having a castle and defending against our armies and winning those defenses. But normally that's not actually what happens. It's just I get slaughtered because they're expanding and I'm not attacking. So, because if you have an aggressive person against a defensive person, the aggressive person is going to win. Because the defensive person won't take advantage of their aggressiveness and attack back. Two aggressive people, that's a nice battle. Two defensive people, that's in the last couple of years. Um, oh, alright, nice. Uh, yeah, let's go battle fudge. Alright, let's go bang, bang, boom, bang, boom, bang. Let's go. For defenses, I, I'll normally go with the bullet hive or the sniper balloon. Uh, sniper balloon, I don't think is, is good enough for costing 120. Even though I would go far as far as to say that's as good as two bull hives would cost under twenty. But I don't know. Alright. I know he's not up here, but he's probably gonna be near this corner. Oh, oh upper. So yeah, she couldn't have gone far, so she's probably over here. Right, she's found my place. I haven't found her, so that's not good. She could easily take advantage of that. I would like to find her place before I go back. Oh, yeah, she's down here. Alright. Oh, alright, there she is. Ooh, that is not a good place for her. That really sucks for her. Because that means I have high ground right next to her. Alright, so yeah, we're just gonna get these dudes. Get some units here. Six isn't a ton, but I'm also gonna get some moles to get near them. Why'd she run away just to come back? Oh, she's probably building a farm. Alright, 
feet, hold on. Get farm. Get some dudes here. Alright, let's go. This person's probably much better than me. Because they're just, like spying on me and stuff. He shouldn't be aggressive here, because if he does, he'll lose. Squirrels are not as good as lizards. Even with the unlimited amount I have, I'd win. Oh, never mind, I will lose. Oh, damn, mole. Shoot, 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 shoot. Yeah, I'm not very good at doing this aggressive deck. Alright, is he spreading at all? Oh, yeah, he's got a lot of squirrels. Alright, let me get a tier 2 unit here. Wing demons, because he's already got four squirrel buildings. So, money wise, I am losing this right now. I'm hoping that he expands and does it stupidly. Oh, shoot. Yeah, he's got. How has he had this huge of an army? Yeah, man. I'm just. I suck at this game. <laughs> yep, I lose. I'm not even gonna bother defending. There's, I, I, he would just destroy all my infrastructure. Just kill me. All right, do you know, I'm gonna try replacing this. Cause why not? Yeah, I'm dead. I don't know how people get this huge of armies. Because I tried attacking right away, but then he had the same army and I was lost. Yep. GG. Man. Like, in many masters, I have bad days and stuff, but this one every day is a bad day. Yep. That was just... Man. Alright, I'm gonna try... I'm gonna try not using. I'm not. I'm gonna try with my um, healing deck. Is the same person. No, it's different person. All right. So let's get bang. Uh, yes, yeah, squirrels. Bang, bang, bang. It's a sniper flu. Alright, so if this, we're just gonna get two units of squirrels, and then we're gonna try going to chameleons, or should we get- Yeah, let's get the chameleons. They got a lot more health. And I do like how you can queue farms, so you can queue it and then go out. Alright, so I'm assuming he's just right over here. Yep. Alright, we will spend each other's bases. He has high ground, so that sucks. I don't have to remember, do I have high ground too? I'll find out in a second. Investigate the area around me. No, I do not have high ground, but I don't have low ground. So that's good. There's just squirrel squirrels. And yeah, we'll put squirrels, then we'll get some more farms. Because I just don't want them to rush me and lose everything. You have to be prepared for that. Let's see again. Oh, he only has one score. He can farm. So I might actually be able to go and hurt him. Maybe. Probably not. Yep. So his score is costing a lot. Quite nice. He's dead. Dang. Let's go. Girls aren't very fast, sadly, but we might still be able to hurt him. Oh, he's got lizards. Yeah, I got more squirrels than you, buddy. Oh, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, squirrels fall back. 
I wasn't paying attention to my health. Arms. Okay, he's got. I think I still might win this battle. Yeah, I still win. All right, nice. All right, and we got. We're getting all the farms. That's good. Let's get a trench gang. Put them out aside so you might not find them and won't know that we have trench gang. Let's build a campfire. Sadly, I know he has three lizards. And lizard buildings. So I do have to get those units kind of fast. Oh, he only has two. He's Oh, he sold one of them for a tier three. here so he thinks that's all I have nope dude you lose this one yep he's a he keeps attacking us just barely not enough oh he's got some wing demons just, just one but probably it's not gonna not gonna work. Yeah, let's build a balloon. Doesn't hurt to have a little bit of defense. He's on the aggressive. Oh, he's fallen. He fell back. Alright, he has a second farm. Alright, he's gonna try going in crazy here, but he doesn't know. What I have. He has no idea I have chameleons right now. Um, I don't want that one just because it's horrible position. I don't think there's even a way for me to get up there. Alright, yeah, let's just go and get this. Yeah, I, 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 I'm pretty sure my army can be his. That's why I'm doing this. If not, then I lose, probably. Yep, I think I win. Well, this fight at least. Oh, no, we just got a bunch of healers. Oh, but we got a sniper balloon. Still have a chance. Oh, shoot. So He beat me there. That sucks. I wasted a lot of money on that. I right, fall back. Hopefully he gets really aggressive and chases me down. Because if he does, we'll get shot. We don't have to sell. Actually, we're kind of low. Fine, this sucks. Oh, uh, we're doing better this time, though. So that's good. Let's go here, see if there's uh, something that we can sneak in. Yeah, my farms are. Yeah, no, this map is pretty bad. Right, I'm back. No poison, dang it. Uh, yeah, stuck. We don't have much. We're not expanding, we're not doing anything. I have to get something. I see you over there. Nope, killed. I'm dead again! Dang it! I get killed so fast.
shoot him. Why was he not shooting him? Ah, oh, the balloon was supposed to kill the things that I told it to kill, but I guess it didn't feel like it. Yep, we lose again. Man, this sucks. I don't know how to... I suck at this game. Jesus. I was winning a couple of battles earlier on. Like, hey, maybe I'm doing good, but nope. That was just a ploop. Alright, screw you. He can easily find me. But I'm still gonna build some farm. Hey, friend. Oh, he's got a sniper. You're nice. Yep, a lot of losses. It probably doesn't help that the only people playing right now are higher rank than me. Substantially. This, this dude, the dude I just lost to actually isn't. Oh yeah, I am not doing good. Let's see, is there any, um, fun rank? Nope. Right. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Let's just uh, just go with this again. Maybe this will go well. Who knows? Oh, that's the color of this map. Alright, where are you at? Ooh, that's a really good place to have it. I think he's gonna be down here. Oh, you found my base, I'm hoping he's here. Yep. Only one means of entrance. That's not good, but at least found him. Um, nomads. Alright. Hmm. Not great spreading material. There's nothing really close to me. It's like easy to defend. I do too, bud. Let's just chase him down. <laughs> yeah, I need to spread over here anyways. I need to expand. Kill him. Stand up. Get wrecked. Oh, I shouldn't have sold it, dang it. Let's get the moles real quick. Let's go. Get to kill him. <coughs> he has more farms than me. I would like to get some wing demons, but I guess max out farms here. Cause he is ahead of us in money. Alright. 
Let's go check out what he has. He doesn't have that many. He has a wing demon, but it's not too that bad. Could be substantially worse. Let's go. Let's go one two. All right, good. We fend him off. Let's get our own wing demons. I don't know why he's being aggressive. Just real quick. No, we don't have anything here. This is solely just so we can have a base. All right, he's got some snakes too. We are definitely behind money-wise. We can spend them all for a little bit so we can get some farms. Where is he spread? Alright, so he knows I know where he is. Mortar, so we can shoot them from afar and make them come to us. Yeah, let's just get more farms. I can actually get moles to kill them over here. He also has fireplace. He definitely is getting more than me. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, he's got mortars too. We have very similar decks. Alright, let's just try to kill him. Nice, we're losing. This sucks. Order. Alright, they took out that, but we're still... We, we're getting them away from us, at least. This one had no farms. So it's not a huge loss. Yeah, actually, it really wasn't much of a loss. Yeah, had no farms. All right, well, he knows that we have farms there now. Move! Jesus Christ, and we lost again. <sighs> that sucks. Yep, we're dead. Definite death here. Hey, he's just not kill him. Yeah, there's no point in even trying. He's got the mortar to build nuke anything I place. What? You know what? We can do something. Nope, nope, we'll die poison before we can even get anywhere. Nope, nope, we're, we're screwed. We literally can't do anything. Because I, I can't even leave this place. Actually, okay, alright, let's go. Let's, um, let's just try to kill one of his things. Let's try to spook him a little bit. He's gonna kill me, but I at least wanna have some fun. He's gonna kill me, but I'm gonna kill some of his buildings. If, if I can kill his thing before he can kill mine, I'll be happy. Oh. Well played. Alright.
Welp, I know we're not at our normal, uh, over an hour thing, but I, I, I think I'm done. We've lost everyone. I, I, I'm probably not going to do this again for a little bit, because I, I would rather play games that I'm somewhat decent at, even though I'm not that great at Minimasters. I'd, I'd rather do that, because I don't think many people like to see me die over and over again. But, um, yeah, so I'll see you guys all in the next stream, uh, enjoy some more, uh, Kamiku, um, yeah, so I will see all you guys next thing, I'm probably not gonna stream next time, it's gonna be, might actually be, no, next one's gonna be Fable, I think, yeah, Fable episode 11 or 12, I don't remember. Yeah, so get pumped for that, and I will see all you dudes later.